know that I'm complicated. I don't have a lot to say. The daylight. Jeremy Renner is making a comeback in an unexpected way. The actor has been working hard to get back on his feet after his near fatal snowplow accident on January 1st, 2023. Now, one year later, Jeremy is sharing a snippet of his first album titled Love and Titanium, telling the story about his recovery. The Marvel alum first announced his upcoming album in October, sharing to Instagram a sneak peek of the album and writing a collection of music we wrote about different milestones in my journey of recovery since January 1st this year. Love and Titanium has been painful, deeply healing, and ultimately cathartic for me to create. I hope I get the courage to share with you all. And two months later, Jeremy is giving fans a sample of the song alongside a video of him and his 10 year old daughter, Ava, with the caption, coming soon. I know that I'm complicated. I don't have a lot to say the daylight. Maybe I'm uncomfortable, a little unpredictable sometimes. Whatever it's worth, I know that it hurts. You are the ocean and I am the earth. As fans recall, almost a year ago, the 52-year-old was in a near-death accident after a snowplow ran him over in Nevada on New Year's Day. And since then, Jeremy has been on a road to recovery, giving his followers a glimpse into his new life. After appearing in his first interview post-accident in March with Diane Sawyer, Jeremy went on Jimmy Kimmel Live and opened up about the accident and how he's doing now. We've heard it from you when you spoke to Diane Sawyer, but yeah, um, yeah. on New Year's Day, you were you woke your nephew up to help you plow some snow, mm -hmm. and your snow plow started sliding towards your nephew. Yep. You got in front of the snow plow, is that correct? I tried to jump back on it to stop it from running him over, and then I got eaten up under the tracks. You got under the yeah, snow yeah. plow. Yeah, yeah. And that was very bad. Very there there bad. was a very, way, very, very bad way to start the year. Yeah, 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 for both yeah. of you, for you and your nephew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was that was that was. You broke awful. more than thirty bones. Yeah, it's like 30, 35 or so. Thirty-five or so. Yeah, when yeah. you have to say or so when you're counting up how many bones you broke, <laughs> we kept discovering them as they were going along because it went from critical order of, of you know priority of like what's what am I going to die from or not, and then you know it was six weeks later finding another break and another break and another break. So this is like, let's put you in evil can evil territory. Yeah, I know? guess. Yeah, you know, it's like I got I got lucky in a lot of ways. So. Um, I'm happy to be here. Yeah, yeah so many yeah. people thought I was dead and we was going to die. I'm like, no, man. I'm, I'm out of the <laughs> I kept trying to get out of the hospital as soon as I was in it. I'm like, I'm out of here. I hate this, what I was wearing. It's gross. How I, long, <laughs> I, it was. It was terrible. How long were you in the hospital? I thought I was there for a couple days. Apparently, I was there for like, a, what, a week? The first hospital, right? Well, total. There's two different ICUs. I got kicked out of the first one. Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, look, man, they put you on so many drugs, and it, it was a sort of a, it was a under construction sort of ICU. They weren't done with the ICU area when I got there. So they put me, like, in a janitor's closet. <laughs> like, it's a VIP thing, but it's like, janitor, it had no bathroom in it, and I'm like, the lights are flickering. Everyone here is moaning, like they're dying in the ICU. I'm like, this is like a haunted house. And I'm like, and it's called ICU. Like, ICU. <laughs> like, it's a creepy haunted house. I'm like, I want out of this place. I'm not going to get better here. So do you feel you're hallucinating? <laughs> like, this is something? I, I'm going back to this hospital this week to apologize to every oh, one really? of those nurses. Yes. You were at Magic Mountain this weekend. Yeah, 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 it's spring break, right? And uh -huh. my daughter turned 10, and she got, you know, you know, my niece and nephews and, you know, all her, her cousins. I had to treat them to a, to a nice time and to the, to the roller coaster. Now, part. do doctors recommend a Six Flags experience <laughs> um, <laughs> after a break? Yeah. You were at Magic Mountain this weekend. Yeah, 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 it's spring plow for one well, of them. Well, then there's one. Yeah. That's what I did. I yeah. did that. <laughs> did that to promote this thing. thing. Speaking you know? of doing things for kids, yeah. you were at Magic Mountain this weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's spring break, right? And uh -huh. my daughter turned 10, and she got, you know, you know, my niece and nephews and, you know, all her, her cousins. 
I had to treat them to a, to a nice time and to the to the roller coaster. Now, part. do doctors recommend the Six Flags experience <laughs> um, <laughs> after breaking every bone essentially in I your didn't, body? I didn't tell them. Uh huh. <laughs> you know? I think we have a video here from uh, your trip to uh, Magic Mountain. <laughs> Jeremy, you're making a mockery of this injury. You really are. <laughs> it's like you're taunting God. You're like threatening him. Try it again. <laughs> I promise you I'm a ton of pain. I promise you. But, did you uh, go on rides? Yeah, I did. I did. I, I, I just live by the, the principle of like, look, if it hurts, then I won't do it. I'll stop, right? Okay. But if it doesn't hurt, I'll be like, yeah, I'll give it a go and I'll try it. That seems like and a I, solid principle. Yeah, so I, I did everything that didn't hurt. And um, I had a great time. And more importantly, my daughter and all the kids did.